Welcome back to another day of Vault Hunters. I streamed 13 hours yesterday, went to bed, woke up this morning, ate food, and I'm back online. Because I'm addicted. And... Yeah. In the meantime, why don't we go ahead and read off the patch notes. All right, Volunters 2.0.4. It's been out for a week and we've already had basically five updates. Uh, further adjustments to Gladiators. Added raffle ticket counter to raffle UI. Added subscriber Vault Fighter Q. Replacing Vault Dwellers once with the most recent subscribers. I like that a lot. See you guys in the vaults. The Vault Editions. Added Ambush Spawners. They replace about 30% of the spawners inside of a vault. This is fun. Uh, ambush spawners will spawn with their mobs, will spawn their mobs rapidly in two to six waves before disappearing. This is a feature we will be toying around with in terms of weights and balance. It is meant to reduce the repetitiveness of points of interest. Very fast, very quick, very large amount of mobs at once. Interesting. This, I think, will make it a lot... If you're trying to be careful with points of interest, I think this is going to make it... Even more so, you gotta really make sure you don't proc two spawners at one time. And if you're running around in an area that has a lot of spawners, that you pick off one at a time. Uh, added new sword model. Sword underscore 09. <laughs> and added proper textures and models for elite- uh, for remaining elite monsters. Changes. Lower the random damage range for vault bosses. Up the amount of obelisks and scav altars that spawn inside of a vault. Lower the chance for random decorated modifiers after level 5. Lower the chance for gilded, ornate, and living chests to spawn with their modifier. So... This doesn't actually lower the frequency of the modifiers appearing when you put down a crystal. It just lowers the amount of chests that will be generated from the modifier. Buff Farmer, it now costs 3 mana instead of 4. Nice. The buff Ghost Walk to be a more viable option. This is a pretty big change. It now costs 10 mana, down from 20, has a cooldown of 10 seconds, down from 30. Cooldown doesn't scale with levels, but duration and mana cost does. So Ghost Walk can be something that we look into a little bit more now. Increase the amount of XP gained from chests. Change the amount of XP gained from elite mobs. Zombie, husk, and drown lowered. Skeleton and stray increased. Skeleton was already 1k. It'd be like 1.2, 1.4. Jesus. Increase the amount of experience gained from killing a creeper. Increase the amount of experience gained from cheeseburger and double cheeseburgers. Before, it was like regular cheeseburgers were somewhere around 200. Cheeseburger was like 230 and double cheese was like 260. It just wasn't worth the trade-off at all. Those are not exact numbers. It was just somewhere around those lines. Um, lower the time for the X-Mark Rim-wide trap success to trigger. This will be interesting. I don't know if this was because of the system that I set up or not. And I also don't know how this is going to interact with the fact that the last time that I tried getting the system set up, it procced before I was down on the ground properly. Not sure. Uh, remove multi-shot enchantment from crossbows. Adjusted several recipes containing items requiring much more expensive items than intended. Don't know what these are, but cool. And remove tipped arrows granting instant health from villager trades. Fixes. Fix a bug that gave chest modifiers globally. H was getting your gildeds in his vault. When you got ornate in your vault, others got it. There's two? What? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Bro, add that to a server setting toggle so people that are playing with others can <laughs> bump the co-op experience even more so. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Uh, fix several bugs around Tari goal selection for entities being affected by fear. All right. Fix issues with spirits and ghosts not retaining inventory data correctly. The issue we've had for a while. And fix the de display desync with the vault recycler. We never use that. So. But anyway. Uh, is the patch notes for today. In addition to the... Uh, spider adjustments and wild not being obtainable until, or not being possible until level, uh, yeah. Actually, I completely forgot an epiphany. Call that an epiphany. I wanted to see about the magnet. So the magnet, what is it? Five magnetite ingot, one vault diamond, and two chromatic steel ingots. Slot belt, level zero, repair zero. So there's magnets in the game now. They're not, well not now, but like there's one magnet in the game. There used to be three different kinds. The base, and then the epic or omega, whatever the, I don't remember exactly what they used to be. But there's one magnet now, and there's a whole, like, magnet modification station. The magnet modification table. Which is from four magnets I ingot, two blocks of copper, and three polished vault stone. I actually want to give us a check-in before I go into the vault. Because even though I'm not using, like, I'm not breaking chests at the moment, the Pickering could, like, does sometimes have weird, like, you know, if your inventory is full when you're bringing in something, it can just drop on the ground. So maybe the magnet can help kind of keep that near me? If anyway. So one vault diamond, five mites I did it, and two chromatic steel. Do I have actual ingots? No, I haven't smelted any of them. Okay, so two chromatic steel. Running low on vault diamonds. Hopefully get some more of those at some point soon. But yeah, let's do a little smelt job on here and see what the... Let's just see what the freaking hype is about... I understand. I've been jabasted this Thanksgiving holiday. This dude's an idiot. And then what was it for the station? Magma modification table? So we need... Nine in total. Reasonable. Reasonable. Where's the raw mag type? Give me more of you. Thank you. Bless. Appreciate it. Hey, you know what? Find off the smelt. I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy camper. Okay. So we got that. Good. And then that. And then we need two blocks of copper. Do I have smelted copper? Tell me I've got one more somewhere. Yes. Yes. We might have done a lot of infrastructure work, but we are very much still in purgatory. <laughs> we are... We are very much still in... Uh, Mid-game of... Beginning of an SMP purgatory. Do I have any smooth... Polish... I do have polished false stone. Beautiful. Alright. So first of all, magnet, bang, and magnet modification table. Cool. So I haven't messed with this at all. Don't remember what the inter interface is whatsoever. What do you got for me? Ooh, okay. So magnet, oh, interesting. 
So durability 100 to 500. I don't know what the durability is to start anyway, but that requires two, four vault bronze, two magnetite ingots, and one vault. Oh, so that's where you need the magnetite ingots for. Oh. Well, why don't we just do a bunch of that then? Because we've got plenty of, we've got plenty of chromatic iron that's not going to use at any point. Let's just do this real fast. Get a few of these bad boys going and put them in the station. The train's hitting the station tonight, boys. All right, run me up. And then was it plating that I... Oh, it's cool how it renders the magnet on the top when you're working on it. Yeah. Uh, vault plating and also red vault essence needed for some of them. Okay, cool. So we can chuck a little bit of additional plating over here. Not a lot, but just a few. And then we would also need vault bronze which we have a wee bit of right now. I got a few just stuck in my backpack. And then we also need Red Vault Essence, which is used for Painite, which I'm not going to do. So it's mana efficiency. Interesting. Oh. Is that what the blue icon is for the one? Oh. So durability, range, velocity, and mana efficiency. Very interesting. And then there's a socket. Or you can jewel it or whatever that may be. But this is already full to 100%. Throw me some durability down. Plus 328 durability. Okay. How much was that? Four vault bronze? That was 100 something. So we have plus 444 durability. Interesting. Okay. I don't know about velocity. I guess that would just be how fast an item that you break goes into your inventory. I'd rather test with basic velocity just to see how slow it is, but at least we got some durability on there. So check that on our belt, and that just enables it. So instead of it being toggleable like last season, if it's on your belt, it's enabled by default. There is an item called the demagnetizer that you can put in your base, and then if you're in your base where you got a magnet on, this will make the magnet not work, even if it's on your belt. So that way, if you wanted to, you could demagnetize your base, keep your magnet on, and then it would only work inside of the vault, not work in your base for building. Pretty cool. Okay, so we'll see how the magnet works then throughout the vault, but I just wanted to get that going so that we'd have it and can mess around with it if need be. Doesn't take up any inventory space, so no harm in it. Time to run a vault with our new loadout. Okay. Anything I need before I go in and get myself killed? Don't think so. You're... A vault. Of all the vaults, this really is a vault of all time. Hey, believers. Um, anyway, that was a really good prediction. Congrats on winning. <laughs> so why don't we do a little test ski with the, uh, the Pickering, yeah? All right. Time to get some money. <laughs> so the magnet's good. And so is the Pickering. I'll be spending the next 20 minutes in this room. <laughs> Hi, mobs. Sorry, guys. This one's, uh, this one's my room. Not yours. Believers, how are we feeling? Can you vein mine the coins? Wait, no, surely vein mining doesn't work on... Wait, no, hold on. Wait, vein mining... Are there any coins that are next to it? Wait, hold on. I don't want to break the block that I'm standing on. You can vein mine coins!
That's so cool. I mean, there's barely any coins that are connected to each other, to be honest with you, but that's still like a pretty neat thing. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, because like most coins are a little bit spread out on, um, what's it called? When they're like next to chests and stuff. Even in this room, a majority of them are spread out anyway, so. Hey, slimes. How are we doing today? You guys good? Great. Happy to, happy to hear it. I'm gonna, um, just for preventative measure. Yeah, I'm just gonna be, like, a little safe with the block that I'm standing on, because I'm one block away from literal death. Just talking about deleting the VOD, like, I didn't literally talk about this yesterday. This being possible is not unknown. But it is dope as shit. <laughs> And I'm definitely having a great time. My inventory is looking quite wealthy. Oh, and hey, look at that! So they changed it now. Yeah, that was another update. Um, that was in the patch notes. They changed it so they're, uh, the vault fighters, the vault dwellers are now recent subscribers again. I think it pulls off of the most recent, like, vial of subs for the arena. So it's not just, like, every sub throughout the entire day. I think it goes in waves, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong in that, but, yeah. So we're not just dealing with vault dwellers. So now some of you sons of bitches can snowball me off when I'm not even trying to build up to fight you. But yeah, that's a, a really nice thing. I don't know... I think it might have been, like, a development time thing or whatever. But, yeah, I'm happy that they brought back that you know, you guys actually being in the vaults fighting me and stuff like that, because it seemed like with the whole, you know, wanting to make sure that every monetary incentive was just cosmetic, that there would be no problem in that being a thing. So yeah, that's sick. Hey, zombies. Stay exactly where you are. Thank you, Chief. So tempting to drop some lava there. Would be a good use for it. Slow crawl. I know I'm like safe up here, but dude, it's it's fucking scary <laughs> with all those mobs down there, man. One fall and I'm I'm gone ski. Alright, I wanted to get a different angle. Oh my god, wait a minute, the triple. Wait a minute, the three piece. <laughs> hey guys hey spiders how you doing how you doing right underneath me what if you brought lava well yeah i could dump it on him that's what a lot of people have been doing with lava it's just like bringing it and uh dumping it on mobs when you're towered up over them i wonder what's in the dragon uh we could break out a few blocks and see what's in there i'm imagining a lot of spawners that also probably aren't breakable. Well, I mean, I don't know if the spawners are breakable or not. I don't really know too much about the spawners inside of, uh, challenge rooms. If you're wondering what I'm looking underneath me for, by the way. Um, actually, give me a second. Am I standing on one block? I'm standing on two, thank god. I'm, like, looking underneath me to make sure that I'm hitting my foot pedal, because I have my foot pedal bound for ability cast key. So that's what I'm using to vein mine right now. Still getting used to it. Not sure if I like it entirely. I forgot how precise the Pickering is as well, too. It's nice. Let's do a little move over this way. This guy was talking about making it so you can't bring lava into vaults. Is it really that much of an issue? Because lava is lava, right? Like, you step in that shit, it kills you. 
I guess if you bring like fire res potions or have the fire res trinket, then it could be pretty overpowered. Just like dumping yourself in lava. But then like, what if you're getting shot and you need to run away? You're in lava. Like you're going to run extremely slow. I don't know. I haven't really seen or done much gameplay with uh, lava. So I'm not really a good voice to be speaking on this. That's interesting though. Optifine zoom? I don't have Optifine. Optifine doesn't work with this pack. I got a Rubidium, which is a mod that allows sodium to work on Forge, basically. Or it's a, a Forge fork of sodium. I feel like lava wouldn't scale very well either. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd be interested to see other people like running with lava. And what kind of damage it could deal. What do you think about the new vault layouts? I preferred every room being different than what it is right now. Your thoughts? I think this is a lot better. And well, I mean, hmm. I can't really say better because last vault, like the last vault layout and the unique rooms and everything wasn't bad by any means. A lot of rooms were really dope. But I think, I think every room having a consistent theme and then these challenge rooms and Omega rooms sprinkled on top of them the vaults just feel more polished. They feel better to explore. They're more difficult because, you know, you don't have the, oh, wait a minute, we're past this, the aquarium room. That's like only three rooms away from the exit. That's another big thing that I don't feel like a lot of people are talking about, is that like with every room looking very identical, that's another reason why navigating around the vault is significantly harder than it ever was in season two. But I, I really like that every vault has its own unique set of mobs, unique set of vault layout, and every room is just different. You know, like, they're the same build style, sure, but there's different points of interest. It's like 50 different, 37 different room variations, and 50 different possible points of interest inside of each one. And then those rooms also have possible dungeons that can exist. And not to mention, people were mentioning that Iskale had talked about uh, Monday's patch, like this Monday, adding in six new vault themes. Yeah, man, I, I like I like this a lot more. Feels a bit more like a labyrinth. I don't know. It just feels cleaner and more polished. I went back and rewatched Vaults of Season 2, and yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. The builds are fun. The build team did a very great job. And a lot of the viewer rooms are pretty cool too. But also, you know, one of the big things was in season two, some rooms were good, some rooms were not good. And you often wound up just leaving those rooms altogether and not caring about them in any way. Um, and so you would only run to rooms that you gave a shit about. Now there's a reason to explore nearly every room that you go into. Which is interesting because when I was reading the Vault Hunter subreddit on the thoughts of 118, a lot of people had opposite opinions. A lot of people aren't liking the new Vault layout change. And I'm not sure if that's purposely just from, like, you know, their perspective of only watching and having played a lot of Season 2 but not getting to play Season 3, so they don't know how it feels to actually run around the vaults. But, yeah, I don't know. Seems like it's a bit more of a... People do miss the old Vault layouts in comparison to the new one. It looks repetitive. Well, so, like, that's the thing, though. It may look repetitive, but there's only a finite amount of... There was only a finite amount of rooms in Season 2. Once you knew all the rooms and knew where the stuff was and what each room had to offer, that was repetition. Season 2 did not have any, like, new things in new rooms, unless they were modified. You go into a room... And you just know where shit is. You know how the chest layouts are. You know what the room has to offer. You know if the room is good for the modifiers that you have or not. And so, like, I think the thing I was pointing out was in at the beginning of the season, like, as we're doing it right now, holy shit. <laughs> at the beginning of the season, it's like, yeah, it seems repetitive because every room is the same. But also, think about longevity or even just, like, in a few weeks. I think this new layout is significantly more sustainable. Plus, remember, we're going to get six new layouts on Monday. 
in addition to the ones that we already have right now. This theme, the, uh, like, foresty theme, the snow theme, the nether theme, I'm probably missing another one. Like, I don't know. I think, I think people are going to change their minds about it a lot. Personally. So the magnet was pretty good. Um, shall we explore the rest of the vault? <laughs> Which room did I come in from? I think I came in from the opposite way. It was just put a little bit lower down. Yeah, all right. So north facing vault. Let's go north. Smile. Hey, friends. Oh! Are you the new vault? Are you the new spawner? Oh, yeah. What kind of aim do you have? Found the new spawner. So that's the, uh... What was it called? Carnage spawner or something like that? So that was in the patch notes for today. These spawners will spawn the waves of mobs, two to six waves of them, very quickly. Very minimal cooldown, and then disappear. Like, that just happened right there. So you take care of the mobs, and then the spawner's already broken for you. This was apparently, as said in the patch notes, to make points of interest less repetitive, and the fact that there was always one spawner in the meadow was always the same. Now you fight that, you're done. Interesting. Ambush spawner. Yeah. So, do I think it's a cool change? Yeah, I think it's neat. Does it make the vaults more difficult? And add, uh, continue on some opinions of vault difficulty that were already standing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, we'll see what the general opinion of the spawners are, but they were, there was a footnote in the spawn saying that they were going to be monitoring the balancing of it and tweaking as needed. And I trust them on that. Is it every spawner to some? I believe it's 30% of spawners. 30% of spawners decide to have vault or ambush spawners now. And I guess without waiting for a little bit, you don't really know which spawner's an ambush spawner or not. Because, like, right there with me standing next to this, I could have very well just gotten spawned on. Interesting. 30%, but Iskal originally wanted 50. I don't know about that. I think at some point you gotta factor in how much time it would take to even get to a point of interest with the amount of mobs that are in front of you. And if it was 50, dude, people would barely be able to loot at all. Goodbye people being able to complete scavs. In my opinion. What are you? I was holding a sword. I thought that dude was holding like a dagger or something, like a custom item. That was interesting. What the? Ow! Hey, boss. Not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda just wanna leave the vault. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do like one more room and I'm just gonna dip. Remember those daggers from season one? I don't. Wasn't part of it. I don't know what daggers were. I like, I saw the unidentified daggers and I think I messed with them in a uh, single player world and it gave me like seven different million. This could be very risky with the amount of spawners that I'm near. 
Do we have a rampage spawner here? Back off. Thank you. I wonder if... Or ambush. I wonder if ambush spawners can be broken like normal. Surely they have to be able to. There's no way they prevent breakability, right? That'd be silly if it was. Hmm? You say? Oh, thank you. Vault Diamond. Actually, it's... I was hoping I'd find a Vault Diamond or two this vault. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Anybody have a dead body that needs reviving across the server? <laughs> First room, by the way. I'm telling you, man, there's something lining up with how... There's something that lines up with this, right? The first time that I unlock Hunter, I get an ornate modified vault with an ornate gilded room, or an ornate omega room inside of there. Later last night, when I ordered McDonald's, the first vault that I ran after I ate a double cheeseburger, I got a living crate modifier and got like 20 burgers worth at the end of it. And then as soon as I make my pickering with a magnet, I get the dragon room on the first room. That is way too coincidental, man, for it to not be intentional. This shit's kind of freaking me out a little bit, man. Break the dragon? Uh, yeah, sure. You could try a little bit. Let's see what's inside the dragon. Anything in the body, or are you just... Are you a filled boy? That looks pretty filled to me. Back off. Can you like kill the mobs around you? Wait, hold on. Yo, poison the mobs. Alright, so it only affects the offspring. Anything in here? Is the gold treasure sand? No. Just the yellow concrete powder. Alright, might be some stuff in there. I'm not exactly sure I'm not seeing anything. If there is, it's not making it obvious enough. I'm out! I'm gone, baby! Poison heals undead? What? Poison's regen for zombies? Dead ass? Have you tried treasure sand yet? Not to my knowledge. How much experience are we gonna get for that? Ah. So that's a fairly good amount. Um, basically nothing from chess. Twenty nine hundred from three hundred sixty five coin piles. Call that around the vault in twenty minutes. <laughs> All right. Very neat. Okay. So what was the, uh, what was the monetary haul from that? Yeah, it's a good amount of, it's a good amount of bronze. That's a, so vault silver. Vault gold. And of all platinum. Look at that little nugget. Look at that tiny little blip. 
Neat. Where be? You know what? I'm a little bit lazy. I'll repair the cum trail at some point, I assure you. Actually, we'll keep that one there. I'm gonna pick you up for right now. Hold on a quick moment. Hey. Neat. Okay. Here. Do you remember what I was saying about the cheeseburger incident and the ornate chest incident after unlocking Hunter? No one facing vault, please, Chad, if you would be so kind. I'm not a superstitious kind of person. I don't really believe in too many conspiracy theories in, in my time. But sometimes you just got to think that maybe it being a coincidence isn't exactly likely. Also, is this a rampage spawner? No, I think it just spawned once. I'm probably going to get ganked on here. Whoa! Not again, bitch. <laughs> not again, bitch. Hey, is this one shot you? No. Back off. Back off. That does decent damage. I don't know how much if it could just one shot a creeper, but that did pretty decent damage. Nice chest. Nice chest. And there was an update, by the way, today that uh, cheeseburgers and double burgers now give you uh, more experience than they did previously, which is good. All right, let's get some more coin piles. Grab the bones. First of all, stop vaccinating me, please. Also, um, for the amount of bones that we already need in an altar, I'm not fussed about it because we're going to need to set up an actual farm. If we can find like 10 bones inside of a vault, it's not going to make a difference. Hey, bud. First vault fighter that I've killed. Wow, you guys are already going. Hey! Hey! Scar? <laughs> Band monitor. Hi, guys. I'm enjoying keeping my distance. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> There's another way of doing this that I did yesterday, but this is working so far. Holy shit. That's lost spiders. I hate your hitbox so much. Farming soul shards, I guess. <laughs> Whoa. The hell? Dude, I'm getting styled on. Back off, man. Can pickaxe be mended? E I think they can be. Yes, they can. Yeah, I don't know if in a vault, but they can definitely be mended. So there was something that I was going to do, and now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't do it immediately. Hold on a second. I have a method for this room that I want to try out a second time because it kind of worked the first time. Here's what we're going to do. Nice crit, man. Back off. All right, hold on. First things first. We're going to try blocking off this entirely so they can't get in. And now...
boss are a little bit annoying, I'll be honest with you. I'd argue the view was better from down below. Some good Larry. That's some good Larry, boys. Can't really see much else. I don't know how good this strategy really is, to be honest with you. Because I had already gotten, like, this crystal. There's a few player gems in there already. There's definitely more around the vault. I just don't want to go in. So I'm kind of limited in my reach. Oh, to be fair, I could just break apart this. No, it's like we're shorter on time. See whether or not there's maybe some ores in the little node behind this. What room is that? The one that I'm in? This is a crystal room. It's a challenge room. Decent amount of ores, not an omega. Downside is a lot of spawners. Oh, there we go. Nice. Luxandrite. Benetite. Laramar. Pickering durability, though. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm watching it. I mean, it hurts the Pickering a little bit, but... Whatever. Alright, I think we can probably depart at this point. And we will not be going anywhere near that room. <laughs> Have you found your player gem yet? I haven't found it myself. I've been given it. But I haven't found it myself. In terms of new ones, North Facing Vault, we're going east. In terms of new ores, I've found... Nice work. You guys remember what I said about the hamburger thing and the... <laughs> the, uh... Anyway. Could save time by not doing this here and going to the other side of the room. So this is good. <laughs> this is uh this is a very, very fun time for me and everybody involved. Now I need to be a little bit mindful of the of the pick rain durability. <laughs> Might not be able to get all of this because the durability might go down a little bit too low, but I'll be I'll be careful about the dura. See, I don't think we're gonna have to worry too much about currency for at least a little bit. Which will be good for the next time that we go into a co-op vault. Some chests sometimes, sometimes also. Yep. Those are normally the ones that I have to go for because I will never let myself go down here because the mob count is typically just so deadly. I'm a very big vein miner enjoyer for uh, breaking coin piles. Pete's Revival Services? 
I mean, guys, I am already wearing a Ghostbusters skin. We can start, we can start there. What's the Dura at? Orange. Block suits for the eye? Prismarine, it looks like? Let me check. Oxidized cut copper slab. Never mind. So how you guys doing? Not as well as you? Oh, I mean... Listen, this is our vault, comrade. This money is our money together. We're still on 116. Hundred and ninety out of eight hundred. Okay. Yeah, so the magnet wasn't a bad idea. And hey, you know what? Maybe this is my reward for getting out of a vault with a pickering alive for the first time in this fucking series. <laughs> So there are still vault dwellers. I see that. It's not completely changed up of like recent subs and stuff. Interesting. Your shield? Yeah. What about my shield? It's in your shulker. No shot, dude. Their ability is red. Thank you. I can see. It's actually a uh, burnt sienna, but all right. Let's just spread misinformation over the internet, I guess. Burnt sienna? Like the Rocket League decal? Each time a sub appears, it gets removed from the queue, as it can only appear once. Oh, interesting. So coming across a subfire is actually like a pretty big deal now. And you can just straight up don't a wall sub, and they just never appear back again. That's kind of keck. Uh, where else are we trying to get some coinage from? Oh, 
All right, I think we're, I think we're good on that. I think, we're, I think we're about good on that. Which, uh, side of the room did that come from? This side? All right, we'll check out a couple more rooms and then we'll depart. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty fortunate couple of rooms and a modifier, you know? Pretty, pretty all right. Oh, no, there weren't any chests up there. Chests kind of scare me with the new spawners. One's up top. Uh, true, I guess. That looks like... Oh, that's that spawner. <laughs> so the spawners... Oh, hey, Impulse. So those spawners are uh, scary as shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of mobs around me right now, I'll be honest. Oh, that seemed like a pretty big boy. I don't know if I'll be getting that living chest. I don't really think I care. I think I'm just going to depart from this room and go to a different one. Can't miss out on coinage. one of these up here. Some minutes left. Oh my. <laughs> uh, whoa. So that breaks the gilded's. All right, I'm going to leave this vault now. Did TNT detonate chests in season two? I don't know if I remember chests getting blown up from the, uh, from that room in season two. No? Interesting. I guess it's part of the challenge then, right? Alright! Yeah, feeling pretty good with that one. It's a good amount of experience, you know? Like, that's, that's pretty... that's nice. That's good. <laughs> Alright. So, off the wealthy. What do we get? Uh, basically nothing from there. 4k experience for 491 coin piles. <laughs> 32 from a pain, 32 from a Lexar, 64 from four Benetite. Uh, 128 from a Tubby Amor, 128 from a Xenia Amor, 12 Laramar, 96, 96 from three Wooded Eye. Interesting. Also worth noting that Laramar is just generally more common than Benetite, it would seem, because Benetite's worth double the experience than Laramar. Feels bad for the uh, Benetite enjoyers compared to Laramar enjoyers. Alright, well, hey, you know? Not bad! Alright, I think with that then we're gonna run our last raffle of the day. If you did not get your raffle in, you can always redeem your raffle now, and it will go toward the one we do tomorrow, or one of the ones we do tomorrow. This is... 124 gladiators. Let's run this up. We might have a sub arena that I forgot to do just then, but it's okay because that's saved, so it can work toward the next arena.
That's pretty good. 12 health is also really nice. 11% res. I like the weapon. Block chance. Not ideal armor. 12 health. Eh, decent. We did fairly decent last time. We got five minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in the, uh... There we go. Come on down, brothers! My sword is... <laughs> My sword is refusing to charge? My sword is... Permanently... Okay! Alright, Mars! Well done! Congrats on... Alright! Yeah, baby! Interesting. Mars, you don't got skin, man! Come on, dude. Maybe it might just be like an error in, or like a bug with skin rendering. I have no clue. Got no idea. All right. That's going to go ahead and do it for Vol Hunters for the day. If you just came around for Vol Hunters, I appreciate you.